the, the manager or branch manager, assistant manager, sales in charge, whoever it is, you should be good at transferring the calls to the concerned person whom the customer wants. Number, the last and final point is you should be good at your voice mails. You should record and you should answer for the recorded voice. The last and final point is you should be good at voice mails because the customer may not be there. He might have recorded his voice and he may receive the information which you should answer or you should be good at recording your voice and give according to what the customer expects. So, you should be good at voice mails. These are some of the points in telephone etiquettes. In business, telephone, you know, business way of answering the phones and receiving the phones, you should be good at. As a call attendee, as a businessman, as an executive, you should be ready to answer the phone. So, whenever a customer calls you, you take your paper and a pencil and be ready to write his name and his number. So often you can call him. Use his name the most. Everyone loves his name the most. So you try to call his name as often as possible. So next is make your mind clear. So smile before you speak. Smile before you speak. Make your voice clear. You should not speak fast. You should be slow. Your tone should be on an average. You do an exercise like you ask a friend, you speak to your friend with making yourself dull and sad and speak with him. And after five minutes you speak to the same person with full laughter, with full joy and full happiness and ask the person and say to him that you are doing an experiment and ask him what is the difference between the earlier speech and the next <coughs> speech and you will find out the difference. So treat your customers, speak with your customers with full happiness and joy and pleasure even though you are in full of sadness and full of problems. Don't show it to your customers. Dear students, the third point is the standard greetings. The first impression makes the best impression. The first impression makes the best impression. So, make the first impression best by answering the phone, by telling your company's name first. Second, you have to say your department and third, your name. For example, you get a call. If he or she works